Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green and clean beauty. I'm back today with a dedicated review for the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. So many words. It is tinted, broad spectrum SPF, and I have it in color light. If you wanna hear more about this, then stick around and let's get into it. Quick heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, Check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Hey guys, I'm gonna run through the scorecard of questions. If you wanna know what that is, link below. Not gonna go into it right now. I'm just gonna dive in and give you the quick recap on what is happening here. What is happening right here? What? $45, four shades available. It is said to renew, hydrate, prime, protect, and cover the skin. It's a lot of things. It's a lot of things. It does have hyaluronic acid in there, which is kind of interesting. Don't really see that often in tinted sunscreens, but okay. It's cruelty free, vegan. And I also want to let you coconut oil people out there know, because I know that sounds really weird. I know that it can be, um, some people have skin that does not vibe well with coconut oil so there is coconut oil extract in here so just know that know that now let's move on the first question from the scorecard which is how do the ingredients look i checked them out on ewg and it scored a one on ewg again in the light shade so they're looking pretty good it's a five out of five on the scorecard that was the quickest easiest answer ever number two how is coverage so i can show you guys how it applies on the skin real time found the coverage here to be very sheer very lightweight and if you're looking for heavier coverage which usually people aren't when they're looking at tinted sunscreens but just in case you are this is not going to give you that disappears into the skin it does give you a bit of a dewy finish if that's what you're interested in it's lightweight but it is a little bit thicker of a formula like it doesn't sit heavily but it is a more viscous formula so it feels more moisturizing but it doesn't feel heavy does that make sense hopefully that makes sense if you have dry skin i feel like your skin will soak this up like a sponge i have combination skin it felt really good when i first applied it felt very moisturizing so i gave it a five out of five for coverage it looks very natural it says it primes the skin i have used this as a primer and you can put a little bit of setting powder on top or you can put a little foundation powder on top works very well with those two things i'm jumping ahead a little bit but i just wanted to talk about primer and coverage okay next question does it last all day it got a three out of five for me here a lot of people had very positive reviews for this product oftentimes i do not align with other people <laughs> and for some reason i would see that by the end of the day the coverage just looked a little too wet it just wasn't vibing that well it just looked less than fresh you know what i mean that's what i saw happening so that's why i gave it a three out of five in terms of lasting all day it was still there just didn't look so great. Also, the brand uses minerals to tint these products, so sometimes it oxidizes, something to keep in mind. It did not turn orange, which I know can be a problem, but that might have had something to do with the end of the day look. Does it irritate skin? No, not at all. Actually, I think it enhanced my skin. I could tell that it was moisturized when I first applied it, you know, midway through the day. By the end of the day, it was like, I don't, I'm not sure what's happening. Did not cause any breakouts, did not irritate my skin. It has hyaluronic acid in there and that plumps the skin. So I saw that very subtle, but I mean, it just looked moisturized to me. So yeah, I gave it a five out of five there. Next question, how's blending and building going with this guy? So blending, fine, sheer, melts right in, a little bit thicker than normal, but it's fine. It goes into the skin and gives you that dewy kind of fun finish. And the building, this is not meant to be buildable, so I have no response to that. I will say that it did respond better when I combined it with a powder. Like that powder really set it and it gave this flawless finish, which I liked. I just wish it had lasted a little bit longer. But overall, I like it better with a powder than I like it with a liquid for additional coverage. So the score here for blending and building is a four out of five. Next question, is the shade range inclusive? So are there enough shades for everybody? This is not gonna score very well because there were only four shades available. It is sheer. You're not meant to like have 50 shades of this, but four was kind of sad and they're all very, very light. So I gave it a two out of five there. That was my biggest ding. And the final question, is this a consciously created product? Multi-free, vegan, sustainable, that kind of stuff. 
well is vegan yay it is cruelty free double yay is it recyclable there is a recycle um, symbol right on the back of it did reach out to the brand and ask what percentage recyclable it is and whether or not it is created from recycled materials which gets me to the sustainable let's take a step forward and help mother earth kind of situation so i haven't heard back from them yet i'm going to give them a three out of five if that changes if they're doing epic things with packaging and things like that that i don't know about and i will certainly come back here in all fairness an update and let you guys know and that brings the final score here to 27 out of 35 it's a respectable score a lot of people love love this product i liked this product you know i wouldn't say it's my number one holy grail SPF product. I will be doing a roundup of my favorite SPF product, but I like it. If you are looking for something that offers sheer coverage, a nice SPF 30, non-irritating, and has a little bit of skincare in there, then I think this is something you might want to check out. You can totally get samples and try them. Uh, it does have a little bit of that sunscreen scent. It is not when you first apply it, but it would be like if I'm leaning over somewhere, like I would catch it and I'm like, Oh, I can smell it now. And I thought I was smelling somebody else's sunscreen or something, but no, this will have a little, very, very faint scent, but enough to be like, ugh, but it is kind of there, so I wanted you to know. If you're looking for sure coverage, but you can't do coconut oil, then this might be a pass for you. Plus, if the colors don't match your skin tone, then that's gonna be an issue. If you have drier skin, I think your skin will love it. You can put a nice dusting of a setting powder on top for a little bit more coverage. And if you're looking for more coverage, I did actually just try a sample of their Impeccable Skin. I like the Impeccable Skin more right now. I have to keep testing it. Then I do like this five in one, just because of the tint. I love when it's just one and done. Would I repurchase it again? I probably wouldn't. Overall, I have better options. It's not because I don't like it. It's just, I probably wouldn't spend the money on it again. It's not cheap, you know, it's $45. So I have Kula, I have my shell. Again, I will provide an SPF makeup roundup for you guys. And now you know, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye-bye.